To protect the world from demons, there are some people selected to fight them, and they are called the Chosen Ones. One night, while the strong wind was raging in the city, there was a sudden explosion at an archaeological excavation site. After that, there were three different lights came out from it. The green one went to the trash bin, while the yellow one saw a formation spirit in a building, so it chose to go there. It turned out that in the room, there lived an aspiring comic artist, named Ivan. While Ivan was focusing on doing his comic, the creature that entered his room started watching around the area. When he finished his drawings, the wind suddenly flew up the copy of his comics that he had printed inside his room, and at the same time, his printed works lit up. The light gradually appeared and as it widened, it formed a portal, and that was the moment when the creature acted to push him into this tunnel. He ended up in a place called the Rift, and his appearance also changed there as well. In just a few moments, the big stones and the trees suddenly came out of the ground. Suddenly, a three-star demon wind appeared in the area, and he noticed that it was approaching him. Even though he was sweating in fear, he just thought that it would not hurt him because he believed that he was the hero at the moment. But when the demon attacked him, he was surprised that this creature was able to injure him. When the demon was about to attack him again, a member of the Chosen Ones with the code name Prince Dragon suddenly came there and was able to stop the demon's attack. And when it was its turn to attack the demon, his attack did not affect the enemy. The enemy rushed at him, and both of them exchanged their attacks. Ivan quickly ran to get away from them, but suddenly a light that formed into sword appeared to him. This sword quickly got the demon's attention, so it chased after Ivan once again. The prince dragon tried to attack the demon, but he could not hit it. Ivan climbed up the tree, but after the demon banged on it, he immediately fell down. He dropped the sword, and the demon caught him. But the demon did not expect that the sword would fall on him, and this caused its death. Ivan woke up in a waiting shed, and thought that what happened was just a dream. A dog approached him, and he noticed the creature on its head. He brought this yellow creature to his house and fed it with a cat food. Because of this, this creature who introduced himself as Jerome became angry and said that he was a divine beast. Jerome added that he was a formation protection divine beast that had been protecting the three worlds for millions of years. He also mentioned that the Excalibur that Ivan used the other night came from him, and this was the reason why Ivan survived the demon wind. Ivan immediately remembered the sword that Jerome was referring to. This was a moment when Jerome told Ivan that he was now an official member of the Chosen Ones. Jerome further explained that these were the people who could see demonic monsters and spiritual beasts that ordinary people could not see. And it was their duty to go to the rifts and defeat the demon winds so that the enemies would not harm the world. Ivan had no idea that at the moment, the so-called Thousand Mile Voicer app was already installed on his cell phone. This was the app that the members of the Chosen Ones were using for their communication and to receive announcements from high officials. It also automatically created Ivan's own account, and his account name was Knight Sword. Because of this, he also did not know the law of the Chosen Ones that was shown there one by one. While the other members were currently communicating through it, they were talking about the three-star demon wind that was defeated the other night. They saw the new member with the username Knight Sword. They also found out that this new bee was the slayer of the three-star demon wind. Because of this, Hans suddenly remembered what happened that night. It turned out that he was the Prince Dragon, or better known by the most as Knightly Marquis. Knight Sword quickly became famous because he defeated the three-star demon wind even though he was just a novice. He immediately got many fans and was constantly being talked about in the chat box. But at the time that they were talking about the Knight Sword, Ivan was making mistakes in the street that were against the law of the Chosen Ones. Other members could also see this on the Voicer app, and they just laugh at him. After a few moments, they saw the decision of Dubby Foreign Affairs regarding Ivan's violations, and they were all surprised that he was the Knight Sword that they were talking about. One day, Ivan was summoned to the Dubby Foreign Affairs office to inform him of his violations. He was in front of the three Dubby's officials, and they mentioned to him his violations one by one on the Law of the Chosen Ones. But Ivan wondered about what they were saying regarding the Law of the Chosen Ones. According to an official, this was the first step once the Chosen One was registered with the Thousand Mile Voicer app. But when Ivan looked at his cell phone, he was surprised to see an app on it because he did not download nor install this on his cell phone. Since this was Ivan's first offense, the punishment for him was only a warning fine. 
One of them took Ivan's spiritual pet registration form, and when he saw the species of Ivan's spiritual pet, he was surprised. Even his two companions were also surprised to see that Ivan's spiritual pet was the primordial formation protection divine beast. Ivan thought they were in awe of his spiritual pet, but when they came out of the room they just laughed at Jerome. Then Jerome suddenly slapped Ivan because he was very angry when Ivan did not follow his demand to hide his identity. After that, they came out of this room and went to Southern Continent Avenue. The other members of the Chosen Ones, who were like him, were also there. Ivan was noticed by others because of his pranks, and a woman recognized him as Knight Sword. When the others heard this, they were surprised. Some of them immediately approached Ivan to shake his hand. Ivan had many fans because apart from Skeleton Genie, he was the only newbie who had caught the attention of the dubby. Someone suddenly came there and said that it was an insult to the Skeleton Genie to compare Knight Sword to it. This man added that apart from the four-star Demon Wind which Skeleton Genie had defeated when it was just a beginner, it also had a golden wall in the trial of Swirling Falcon Prophetic Jade which had the ability to determine how strong a chosen one in the midst of the battle and anyone who could make it through the trial would immediately know its strength through the Shining Wall. It had five levels which were gold, purple, blue, green and white. Gold was the strongest among these, and only Skeleton Genie was able to acquire this level. Ivan decided that he wanted to try the trial, but Jerome tried to stop him. The man who approached them earlier asked Ivan if he was afraid to do it. So to show that he had nothing to fear, Ivan quickly went to the Prophetic Jade. But when they approached it, they just collided on the screen, and no colored light came out of it. Because of this, the others immediately thought that he was just one of those with weak prophetic jade. Ivan could not understand this very well, so he just tried to practice with his sword. When he aimed his sword at the prophetic jade, it gradually cracked, which worried those who saw it. A dub he's official, called Director Zane, came there quickly. In Ivan's fear, he dropped his sword and pushed it away from him. But to Ivan's surprise, Director Zane praised him because in the many years that had passed, he had never seen anyone did what Ivan does to the prophetic jade. Little did they know that a dark smoke had entered the sword. Then Director Zane asked Ivan to do a mission about the paranormal incident at Mingshan University. This was about the mysterious disappearance of the ancient sword in the artifact showroom. Jerome was upset when Ivan accepted this mission because he preferred him to be in the rift and fighting the demon winds. Ivan showed Jerome the ancient sword of green that also disappeared the night of the explosion at the excavation site. They did not know that at that time, the ancient sword of green was being joined by the one who took it. After the ancient sword was connected, it opened a rift that reached where Ivan was. This caused Ivan to transform and Jerome was surprised by this. When Ivan felt a demon wind, he immediately rushed to it and he was surprised that it was just a small crab but a green power entered its body, causing this creature to grow bigger. It immediately attacked Ivan, but he was able to avoid it. When it attacked again, Ivan tried to block it, but he accidentally cut off the creature's claw. The demon rushed again, and before it could get close, Ivan immediately used his sword causing its other claw to be cut off too. In its fear on Ivan, the demon quickly ran away to escape. Ivan followed it and when he attacked, the demon blocked his sword. Because of the green power that possessed the demon, it affected Ivan's sword causing it to break and he was hit hard by the demon's attack. When the demon picked him up by its claw, the skeleton genie came there. When she transformed, she quickly defeated the demon. When they got home, Jerome could not believe that Excalibur had been broken, but Ivan was still alive. It turned out that he planned to sacrifice a formation spirit which was Ivan in order to fix the seal. He remembered again the day when he saw Ivan, until he took him to the rift and made him fight the demon wind, so he could do his plan of sacrificing him. He was also the one who weakened the Excalibur to ensure that Ivan would lose the next time that he had to fight a demon wind. When Ivan entered the room, he tried to tell Jerome in a proper way that he was not going to fight the demon wind anymore. But Jerome knew that Ivan was just afraid to die in the battle. Suddenly, the strong gust of wind was felt by them in the room again, and they saw the broken Excalibur got fixed by itself. While Ivan was holding it, Jerome noticed the green light coming out of the sword, so he remembered that it was the same as what he saw in the demon wind. The next day, the members of the Chosen Ones immediately discussed the completion of the mission at Mingshan University which was done by Skeleton Genie and Knight Sword. 
Some of them could not believe that Skeleton Genie decided to work with someone else because she was known to do her mission alone. Han went to the building where he was going to move, and this was where Ivan also lived. His driver, named Mori, asked him why he was paying attention to the knight's sword. Han answered that he could feel this person was really strong, but sometimes he seemed to think that he was not sure about it anymore. Mori suggested that he should invite Knight's sword to the rift so that he could see for himself if its strength was true. Suddenly, someone rang the doorbell outside of their room and it turned out to be Ivan. He was carrying the plant which Jerome put in some sand earlier. They were also wondering why a rich person would choose to live in such a building. After a while, the door opened but only Ivan was able to enter it. He passed through the disinfection room before reaching the main room of Han. When he entered, he immediately recognized Han who was with him when he defeated the three-star demon wind. He gave his smelly plant as a welcome gift to his new neighbor. Then he was amazed and looked around at the decor in the house. When he touched a display, he was surprised when the cover suddenly opened and the different types of stones came out. According to Han, he only got them from the Southern Continent Avenue. When Ivan tried to reach for the Demon Wind Core Stone, Han immediately stopped him. It was the moment that Han took the Demon Wind Core Stone which was actually owned by Ivan. This was the Core Stone from the Demon which Ivan defeated, but because Ivan suddenly disappeared after the fight, Han hid it and he would now give it to Ivan. Since Han was also with him to defeat the Demon Wind, Ivan thought that they would divide the earnings from this once they sold it. Even though Han did not want to accept it, Ivan still forced him on this matter. They went to the Southern Continent Avenue, and the people could not believe what they were seeing. They were not expecting that Knightly Marquis would be with someone else because he was indifferent to others. They went to Ma's commercial house which was owned by one of the Dubhi officials. After looking at the core stone, he offered Ivan 300 shells. But Han did not agree to this because he knew that a two-star core stone was sold there for 600 shells just three days ago. Because of this, the officer could do nothing but buy it for 1,000 shells. Because Han still would not want to accept part of the earnings, Ivan treat him to a meal. After a while, they noticed an angry customer because he did not like the food offered to them. It threw the food and a spiritual animal immediately devoured it. The man was about to try to hurt the spiritual beast, but Ivan stopped him when the man noticed that Ivan was with Knightly Marquis, he got scared and ran away. Since the spiritual animals were approaching Han, he also decided to leave there. When they returned to the other world, a rift was once again formed. Han quickly entered it and Ivan also followed him. Once they saw the demon, Han immediately knew that it was a four-star demon wind. It created a tornado, and while they were trying not to be blown away by the strong wind, Ivan thought of using Jerome. He threw it at the demon, and it successfully hit the opponent, causing the tornado to stop. Then Han told Ivan about their plan, but Ivan did not even know the types of sword attacks that Han was talking about. So Ivan suddenly attacked the demon, and then Han told him to aim for its head. Han also attacked, but both of them were stopped by the demon. It went underground, and after a few moments, it came back and attacked again. After they avoided it, Han immediately attacked it, but it suddenly disappeared and went straight to Ivan. Ivan blocked it but it returned to Han. When the demon appeared again, Ivan was able to beat it. Although Han already admitted that Ivan was good at fighting, he said that Ivan would be even more knowledgeable in the fight if they joined forces in the next battles. Ivan immediately thought that Han wanted to be his right-wing guard. And when he mentioned that Han might be still weak, it was the moment that Han proved him wrong. Han used one of his strongest techniques and repeatedly attacked the demon wind until it was completely defeated. Then Jerome suddenly woke up after being hit by a rock. Because Ivan was impressed by what Han did, he took back what he said that Han was weak. The others also immediately learned that Ivan and Han was able to defeat the four-star demon wind. They could not believe that Knightly Marquis teamed up with a newbie, because there were even 999 team invitations on him, but he rejected them all. While Han was having his tea, he learned that Ivan had done something silly. Ivan drew the two of them which it showed that Han was the one supported him in the fight. That night, while Ivan was sleeping, his editor suddenly called him. He informed Ivan that there were many people patronized his work. When he saw the result, he jumped on his bed because of so much joy. His editor suggested that he should add another character, and he thought immediately of Skeleton Genie. 
The next day, the actress named Tin was shocked when she saw Ivan's new work where Skeleton Genie was added to its comic characters. A few hours later, while Ivan and Jerome were on their way to deliver the food, they heard a woman scream. When they went to it, they saw Tin, and a man was approaching her. Ivan immediately attacked this man, but he did not know that it was just a shooting for a film. Because of this, Ivan had to spend money on the damages he did in the shooting area. When Tin sat down, she reminded the delivery boy about her order. It was only then when she found out that Ivan was the delivery boy, and when she saw that her order had fallen, she still picked it up and ate it. She offered Ivan to eat as well, and a fan of Tin suddenly showed up. But there was strong gust of wind, and Ivan saw the forming rift. He immediately entered it because he was thinking that his experience in the rift would help him in the comic book that he was making. When the demon wind appeared, he immediately attacked it, but the demon managed to get hold of his sword. The demon blew his bad breath on him, causing Ivan to lose his focus, and the demon attacked him. When he rushed to the demon, it trapped Ivan using its technique. Jerome was very happy that his plan to restore the seal was about to be fulfilled. When the demon was about to kill Ivan, the skeleton genie suddenly appeared and fought against the enemy. There was another member who was filming the ongoing battle, and when he looked at the level of the demon, he was surprised that it was a five-star demon wind. When Ivan got out from the trap, he immediately attacked the demon using the technique that he had just learned. But it turned out that it did not affect the demon, and it quickly approached to attack him, fortunately, he was saved by the skeleton genie. Suddenly, his sword began to take control due to the green power, and repeatedly attacked skeleton genie. Because of Skeleton Genie's annoyance, she tied Ivan on the wall so that he would not interfere with her fight. When the demon attacked, Skeleton Genie used one of her strongest techniques, and she was able to defeat the enemy. But she was surprised that she could not find the core stone from the demon wind. The rift gradually disappeared causing them to return to their original form. It was here that Ivan found out that the actress, named Tin, was actually the Skeleton Genie. He tried to offer her to be his left-wing guard, but Tin just rejected him. Because of this, he went to Han to ask him for advice because he knew that Han could easily get close to beautiful girls. After Han gave him advice, Ivan researched to find out the interest of Tin. One day, while Tin was in an interview, he went there to give her flowers. But Tin's manager, named Loki, got annoyed and Ivan was immediately kicked out of the building. Because he remembered Han's advice, he did not give up and waited until Tin came out, but she once again did not pay attention to him. After a while, he noticed a woman riding a motorcycle that looked like Tin. He followed her and reached the orphanage. Then he saw Tin playing with the children in this orphanage. After Tin played with the children, the two of them talked. No matter what Ivan said, he still could not convince her to accept his offer. When Tin left, he still followed her, that's why Tin stopped to confront him, but Ivan's vehicle lost its brakes and crashed into her motorcycle. Due to the injury that Ivan suffered, he was taken to the hospital while Tin was picked up by her manager. A man gave photos of Tin and Ivan to a boy who ordered him to spy on Ivan. This boy was the one responsible in taking control on Ivan's sword, and he wanted to teach Ivan a lesson. When Ivan got out of the hospital, the dub he called him to remind him of the warning fine that he had not yet paid. In addition to this, he also had a lot to pay for the damages he caused on the set of the shooting. His editor also called him to inform him that someone wanted to delete his works because he allegedly copied them. Because of this, he intended to go to his editor, but a rift was suddenly formed. At the same time, the landlord of the house where he was renting the room also called because he had not yet paid his rent. Because of these problems, he was confused on which one to prioritize. But after all of these, he chose to enter the rift and save the spiritual beast that was being attacked by the five-star demon wind. Because of this, this demon wind started to attack him too, so they fought each other. As they continued to exchange attacks, he got the opportunity to cut off one of the demon's hands. When he was about to kill it, the demon was able to stop his sword. So he asked the spiritual beast for help, and when it punched the demon, it did not even move the enemy. The demon had a chance to attack them and even managed to regain its severed hand. When Ivan and the demon attacked at the same time, he cut the different parts of the demon's body. Unfortunately, the demon quickly regenerated and grew even bigger. 
Meanwhile, Han got the information about the five-star demon wind that Ivan was currently fighting, and they discovered why it could not just die easily. They could feel that the demon winds were getting even more stronger, and it was no longer advisable to face them alone. Han saw on their voicer app that Ivan was currently fighting the five-star demon wind. The members also received a message from Dubhi to come to the rift and help, so Tin also acted immediately. On the other hand, Ivan decided to retreat first because they knew that they would be in trouble once they continue fighting the demon. As they ran, the demon kept throwing stones at them, and Ivan tried to block these attacks. But he was hit by the enemy's strong blow and immediately locked up. Because of this, the demon attacked the spiritual beast, which was not stopped by the other chosen ones who just came there. After that, Ivan was able to get out from being trapped, and since he knew that the demon could not be defeated using a sword, he thought of burning it. By just one attack, the demon was quickly burned, and they saw its core stone. After the fight, he hurried home because he was worried that his things might have been thrown out of his room. Fortunately, his things were still there, and after a while, the landlord called him to let him know that someone had already paid for him. Then he talked to his editor and he was also informed that the accusation against him was wrong and it was waiting for the next chapter of his comic book. While he was working on the next chapter, he saw in the voicer app the new ranking which was released by the four zones. Others could not believe that Knight's Sword was already in ranked 49th, while Skeleton Genie was in rank 10th. Ivan had no idea that before he could get home, it was Han who ordered Mori to pay his rent. And they were also the ones who arranged to remove the accusation against Ivan regarding the comic book, and the one behind this was angry when these problems were settled. Because of this, this person decided to replace Ivan's Excalibur with a fake sword while he was fast asleep. The next day, Ivan went to the Southern Continent Avenue and he talked to the spiritual beast. It mentioned to Ivan what he noticed on its sword while he was watching the live broadcast the night he and Skeleton Genie fought the five-star demon wind. Because of what he had read in ancient books, he had a hunch that there was some spirit in Ivan's sword. A few days later, they both decided to meet in their original form. They met in Mingshan Park and Ivan was surprised that it was a woman who introduced herself as Maya. While they were talking, the boy who was angry at Ivan was in the tower and was doing something on the sword that he stole from Ivan. But he did not expect that there would be a problem on his experiment and this caused an explosion. Suddenly, a dark spirit appeared to them and it attacked Ivan. When he was about to use his sword, he suddenly stiffened and was hit by the dark spirit's attack. The rift was suddenly formed and Maya transformed into the spiritual beast, then she fought against the enemy. When she used the serial strikes, she was able to defeat the dark spirit, and after a few moments, they saw Blue, or better known by Jerome as Gollum. Meanwhile, Han talked to the boy who was angry at Ivan about what he did on Ivan's sword. It turned out that he was a relative of Han, so he reprimanded the boy on its interference on Ivan's sword, and to punish him, Han forbade this boy to go out. Maya took Ivan to the hospital, and when Ivan woke up, he wondered why he was tied up. When his doctor came, he recognized her as one of his customers who received his delivered foods. Kay introduced herself, and she was thinking that Ivan was planning to end his life based on Maya's story. It was the moment when Maya told Ivan that she had gone to where he lived to get some clothes. She was surprised to see the search bar of Ivan's computer and saw many pills. Which according to Kay was called the five dragon pills that could kill a person once they use it excessively. While Maya was walking behind Kay, they met a doctor who gave Kay an examination report. She heard from them about Ivan's condition, that he had a serious illness and that Ivan only had one month left. Because of this, she thought that maybe Ivan wanted to end his life because of this serious illness. Then she spoke to Ivan to ask him if he had a request. Ivan told her that he wanted to pay off everything he owed and made Skeleton Genie as his teammate. After their conversation, Maya immediately sent a message to Skeleton Genie to ask her a favor to team up with Knight Sword and she also told her about Ivan's current condition. Tin read it right away but she did not give in to it because she knew that Ivan would not die yet. Maya also talked to Han so that they could hold a discharge party for Ivan. Han agreed to this and they conducted it at his residence building. After a while, Tin came there because Maya also invited her too. After some time, when Tin was about to leave, Ivan stopped her. It was the moment Hat Tin told Ivan that she only came there because of his current condition. Ivan was confused because he did not know about this, for Maya had not yet told him what she learned. 
Because of this, he lost his interest in the party and took Jerome so they could go home. While the rest were forced to wake up Kay so that she could tell them the truth about Ivan's condition. When Kay heard about this, she just laughed at them because the result of the medical report was not referring to Ivan. But she admitted that there was something abnormal in Ivan's body. Since Ivan had a weak prophetic jade, it made her wonder where he was getting its strength during the battle. She could not find the reason, but she was sure that Ivan's condition was not normal. After Jerome found out about this information, he was happy because his plan was about to come true. So he decided to tell a lot of things that he was doing to Ivan, including the five dragon pills, and Ivan got mad at him. Because of this, Ivan got his revenge against Jerome and did not let him sleep that night by blowing the horn which noise disturbed the other residents too. The next day, Maya went to Ivan's place to tell him the good news. Then she asked Ivan for a favor if she could leave Gollum in his care until she finished his archaeology exam. When Maya left, Ivan decided to throw Jerome out of his room. But after a while, it passed through the window and attacked Ivan. After that, Ivan warned Jerome that he would make noise again if he would not tell him everything. So Jerome decided to tell him about the great demon that was imprisoned by the five sages using the primordial formation. To prevent the possibility that someone would attempt to release the great demon, the sages destroyed the key to the formation called the Golden Lotus of the Mortal World. But after thousands of years, the pieces of the key gradually formed again, and 500 years ago a mysterious organization was able to get them all completely. Meanwhile, due to the continuation of construction work at the archaeological site near Mingshan University, Han called his grandfather. Although it was not yet clear to them the cause of the explosion in the area, his grandfather decided to continue what was being done there. He also mentioned about the White Ghost and the disappearance of the ancient Jianan city. And the construction site was said to be the lost Jianan city. His grandfather said that they need to discover the truth as soon as possible to prevent the incident in the past to happen again. Jerome was also currently telling Ivan about this, and Ivan was thinking that he could get an idea from it for his comic book. Suddenly, Ivan's sword moved and it hit Gollum that it made him so angry. While Ivan and Jerome were trying to stop the sword, Gollum bumped at him. This caused Ivan to let go of the sword, then he fell down and lost his consciousness. Jerome tried to heal Ivan but he was surprised because Ivan's prophetic jade was sealed. The next day, when Ivan knew this, he imagined himself once he tried the trial again without the seal of his prophetic jade. A few hours later, while he was working on the new chapter of his comic book, Jerome watched the news about the upcoming storm which was done by the White Ghost. Gollum opened the window and it almost blew them away, luckily, Ivan caught them quickly. When Ivan saw his idol, named John, on TV, he immediately closed the window to watch it. John said that he was impressed by Ivan's work, and this made Ivan very happy. Suddenly, he received a call from Tin's manager, who wanted to buy the TV adaptation rights of Ivan's comic book. Ivan immediately decided to go to see Loki, even though the wind was strong outside, this still did not stop him from going out. While he was on his way, he saw a man at the side of the road. When he approached him, another man suddenly fell near him. As he looked at the alley, he saw other people lying down and a woman standing at the center. He immediately confronted her and was surprised that it was Tin. Tin suddenly received information from Dubhi that an energy instability had been detected near Mingshan Orphanage, so those near the area were instructed to go there. Because of this, Tin moved quickly to go to the Mingshan Orphanage. While those lying down suddenly stood up one by one and slowly approached Ivan. But someone came there and used its power to stop those who were approaching Ivan. He introduced himself to Ivan and said he was a dub he's druggist. It turned out to be one of Mr. Lu's staffs and he immediately reported the sleepwalkers that he saw. While the other chosen ones were busy rescuing those affected by the disaster, Ivan was in Loki's office to discuss its offer to him. Loki showed the contract for this offer, and when he was told the value of this contract, Ivan could not believe its price. Because of this, Ivan immediately signed it even though he had not yet read the entire contract. Then they discussed the next chapter of the comic book. Loki gave Ivan an idea on the next chapter, where the events of the hero's childhood must be shown. That the main character saw something when he was young, and someone suddenly came there and put a seal on the hero, so he could no longer remember the events that happened. But Ivan suddenly stopped him because he had many questions. 
This includes how the hero got to this place, the whereabouts of his family, about the thing that he saw and why his memory was erased. After Ivan came out of the building, Tin came there just in time. Suddenly, they received an announcement from Dubhi that a rift would open near the sea coast. Han immediately went to it, while Ivan ride with Tin on her motorcycle. When they arrived at the sea coast, Ivan was surprised that there was no storm there. But according to Tin, their enemy must have done something in the area. After a while, the sleepwalkers appeared to them one by one. They rushed at them, and Tin easily put those people to sleep using her bare hand, while Ivan was being attacked by others. After they heard a strange sound, Ivan noticed that his attackers suddenly got stronger. Because of this, Tin had transformed into a skeleton genie so that she could quickly get close to Ivan and save him. While skeleton genie was examining the opponents, a demon suddenly appeared behind Ivan. When it was about to attack Ivan, Han came there and blocked the demon's attack. After Tin rushed to attack the demon, Ivan also transformed, and the three of them worked together against the enemy. They combined their attacks, but were surprised that the demon was not being affected by it. By just the sound it created, the ordinary people who could hear it immediately turned into sleepwalkers. After they were attacked by them, Tin thought to inform the Dubhi about the condition of the sleepwalkers in order to save these people. Han was about to send a message to Dubhi, but he found out that there was no signal in the area. So Ivan told Han to go to the Dubhi to inform them personally, while they would take care of the demon. It turned out that Ivan intended to fight the demon with just him and Tin together. Tin used the order of Yama to trap the demon and then she blew it up. But it still did not work and the demon gave back to her the same strength it got from the explosion, so Ivan immediately pushed Tin away, and he was the one who got hurt. When Tin approached Ivan, the demon attacked again, luckily, Han came there to stop it. They thought Han was on his way to Dubhi, but Han said that when he was trying to get out of the rift, he could not do it, and he just kept going back and forth. So Tin thought that they might still need to defeat this demon before they could get out of the rift. Han and Tin continued to fight the demon, while Ivan was unable to move properly due to the injuries he received. Tin and Han both used their strong attacks, the order of Yama and waves of demons at the same time, but it still did not work on the demon, and they were hit by the demon's attack. The demon approached Tin, so Ivan forced himself to stand. When the demon saw him, it immediately attacked him, but Ivan used the true power of his sword to block the demon's attack. He noticed that his sword seemed to be working, so he immediately poured all his strength on it, causing the demon to be thrown away. Ivan rushed at the opponent again, and the two of them fought until the demon's fist hit him and this time, he was thrown away. Then the enemy picked him up, and when it was about to squeeze him, the power of the sword manifest once again, so the demon threw him away. When he got up, he rushed at the enemy again, and Tin got up too to help him. The two of them worked in fighting the demon, until Tin noticed that the thing in the demon's chest got cracked. Since the demon weakened, they learned that this was the demon's weak point. Tin instructed Ivan to target that thing on its chest, while she would try to rest on it. When Tin was able to stop one of the demon's hands, Han also helped to stop the other hand. Ivan's first attempt to destroy the weak spot did not work, so he did it over again, but the demon released itself from their control. So they retreated, and the demon quickly attacked them, but a woman suddenly came there and created an energy shield to block the demon's attack. When Ivan heard its voice, he immediately recognized her as Dr. K. From the energy shield, they were also given strength that was just enough for one attack. Ivan told them to use this chance, and this attack was enough for them to defeat the demon. They rushed together, and Tin used the ghost locker to bind the demon. While Han used the fury of Long to make sure that the demon would not get away. And Ivan attacked with sweep all before one, because of this, they successfully defeated the demon. After Ivan saw the core stone of the demon, he fell to the ground. They took him to the hospital, and it was only then that everyone found out that they had fought a seven-star demon wind. Ivan dreamed of his father, and when he was struck by lightning, he immediately woke up. When Tin and Han got there, they talked to Maya and asked her about the exam. While Mr. Liu and Dubhi's druggist were watching the fight with the seven-star demon wind, an official of Dubhi came there. He suspected Ivan as a member of the White Ghost. He even said that when Ivan became one of the Chosen Ones, the White Ghost became active, and he was also there when the other two high-level demon winds came out. He added that they should not forget that its father, named Walter, was a spy of the White Ghost. 
Because of this, they acted immediately to visit Ivan at the hospital to take and bring him to Southern Continent Avenue. Ivan was asked about his father's whereabouts and he just thought that his father only owed money to this man. Since he did not know the location of his father, he decided to leave, but he was immediately locked up. It was the moment when he found out that his father was considered a traitor by the dubhi. Han also learned about this from his grandfather and it happened 20 years ago in the snow mountain in the northern continent. Before the incident, they received information about the sighted key fragment. That's why the North Star, which was the head of the four stars and its group decided to go there to take it. But due to the energy fluctuation in the snow mountain, the plane which they were riding had an accident and all the chosen ones who were on it including the North Star were killed. Most of the civilians on board were also killed, and no one knew what really happened. The key fragment was never found and their only clue was the thing in the hand of the North Star with the code name of Ivan's father, the Constellation. They suspected that Walter had killed the North Star and taken the key fragment and they concluded that he was a spy of the White Ghost. Mr. Lu knew that Han was on Ivan's side, so he warned his grandchild to stay away from Ivan for the meantime. While Tin was with Jerome and Gollum, they entered the Dubhi's government office to save Ivan. When they saw Ivan, Tin immediately attacked the Dubhi officer and the two of them fought. Gollum helped Tin to attack the officer as well, and when he weakened, Tin immediately locked him up. As they were going out, the officer managed to get out from Tin's power and immediately attacked them but a Dubhi's druggist came there and blocked his attack. The druggist said that the time for the investigation on Ivan was over and he must be released if there was no evidence found against him. The dub he officer did not agree to this and attacked again, because of this, he managed to break the druggist's mask. It was only here that they found out that it was Kay, who immediately told them to get out. As they were leaving, the guards saw them, so Tin pushed Ivan towards the door and she faced the guards. Ivan got out of Dubhi's government office, but he was confronted by the angry Chosen One members. When they got home, Jerome tried to talk to Ivan, but he ignored him. Then they received an announcement from Dubhi that the result of Ivan's investigation would come out after three days. Meanwhile, Han decided to help Ivan, but when he was about to leave the room, his grandfather's men stopped him. He was about to use force just to get out, but his grandfather came, and Han made it clear to his grandfather that he would not let bad things happen to Ivan. The next day, Jerome and Gollum were in panic because they could not find Ivan inside the room. Ivan left a letter, so they immediately went to Han to show it to him. They tried to find Ivan, but they still could not find him. As the others were united to remove Ivan from being a member of the Chosen Ones, Tin came there to oppose this decision. At night, Jerome found Ivan fighting with a member of Ghost White because of a thing. Ivan successfully snatched it, and Han also saw an unconscious Dubhi in the area. When Gollum bit on it, the thing showed an image of the snow mountains where the incident took place 20 years ago. After Ivan remembered something, he immediately left, and Han brought this thing to his grandfather. Kay suggested to Mr. Lu that it would be better if they let Night Sword fight against the Ghost White because he would surely find ways to help them. It turned out that Ivan went to the snow mountains to look for evidences and find out the truth. While they were observing the exact location which they saw in the picture, the ground beneath them suddenly collapsed. Fortunately, Han came there to save them, and Tin caught them. Maya and Dr. K were also with them. Ivan even wondered why the others could not feel cold while he was freezing. When Maya mentioned that it was because of the prophetic jade, Ivan accidentally mentioned that it was probably because his prophetic jade was sealed, and this caused the others to be surprised. Han heard that Jerome was saying something, but it did not speak anymore when he approached it. Kay immediately checked Ivan's body, and said that she would conduct an examination once they return. As Maya recounted their findings, the other snow mountains near them collapsed one by one. Then the wrecked plane appeared to them, and they immediately thought that this was the plane that met the accident 20 years ago. Ivan suddenly felt like he had been there before, and it was the moment when the members of the White Ghost appeared to them. They had no idea that the one who was currently talking to them was Loki, but they could not see its face because he was wearing a coat. They intended to get Ivan, but the rest had no intention of letting the enemy do what they wanted. Loki also mentioned their plan to change what the dub he was doing in protecting ordinary people. For the White Ghost, people should not be protected because the Chosen Ones would only look like guardians of the weak. Because of this, Han got annoyed and their fight started. 
Tin fought against Loki, and when she was able to hit him, that's when she saw Loki's face. Loki was an undercover agent, and this was the reason why the enemy found out about Tin's true abilities. After Tin tied Loki, it released the nine-headed general. It attacked Ivan several times, but they could not see where it was coming from. Because of this, Tin used a technique to give them the ability to see it. They saw the golden flag, and after a while the demon that owned it appeared to them. They immediately attacked it simultaneously, but their attacks had no effect on it. Their enemy wanted to take revenge on Ivan for killing the seven-star demon wind. It attacked Ivan, but he was able to block it. When K gave them extra strength, the demon did not like it, so he attacked K. Then it immediately attacked Maya, Han, and Tin who were equally caught off guard due to the speed of its attacks. He also attacked Ivan, who was only beaten because he could not see the attacks of the enemy. It used the Rage of Thunders which Ivan was not able to avoid. Tin tried to get up, but because she was still weak, she could not fight back against the demon. Loki came there to remind the demon of their true mission, that's why the demon let her go. They started their plan on Ivan, and it was here that Ivan remembered the events before he and his father were separated. It turned out that the key fragment went to him, and this was the reason why the white ghost wanted to get it from him. Jerome tried to attack the demon, but it just grabbed him. When they got the key fragment from Ivan, the demon took it, and this alerted Loki because it was not what they had agreed. Ivan suddenly attacked the demon, and he saved Jerome. Due to the loss of the key fragment in Ivan's body, he was able to release his true power. When he noticed the enemy, he immediately threw Jerome at the white ghost member to release Tin that's why she was able to fight against the enemy. Even Han, Maya and Kay were able to escape and fought against their opponents. Ivan and the demon started to fight, and even though the demon was very fast, Ivan still managed to avoid its attacks. But the problem was his sword which was starting to get out of his control. Tin and the rest managed to defeat Loki and the other members of the White Ghost. When they saw Ivan who was being attacked by the demon, Kay immediately created an energy shield to protect him. Because of this, Ivan got an extra strength and he immediately attacked the demon. Because he became much stronger and faster, he was able to keep up with the demon. The demon could not believe it until Ivan hit him hard with its attack. But it still was not enough to completely defeat the demon. It once again released a great power and attacked Ivan. So the others also took action to support Ivan in attacking the demon. When Tin used the ghost locker on the demon, it gave Ivan the opportunity to pour all his strength into his attack. Because of this, they successfully defeated the demon, and Ivan also recovered the key fragment. While on the Southern Continent Avenue, others were waiting for the Dubhe's announcement. It was the third day when they would give a decision on whether Ivan was a traitor or not. The Dubhe came who were led by Mr. Lu, and after a while they saw Ivan and the rest, who just came after fighting the white ghosts and the strong demon wind. But instead of considering Ivan a traitor, he was recognized as a hero of the Southern Continent Avenue. This is the end of the story. I hope you like it and give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel so you won't miss newly uploaded videos. Thank you for watching.